Hey, so I'm just going to talk to you today because there's been so much stuff that's just been piling on top of me and I just need to talk about some of it because it's stressing me out now. The biggest thing is my transition and I'm pre-hormones, pre-surgeries, pre-everything pretty much. Well, yeah, pre-everything pretty much apart from clothing. And I'm nearing the day where I get my hormones. So normally you'd go for the NHS and you'd, you'd be sent to Charing Cross if you're from London because there's only one clinic in the entirety of London who do anything and because the NHS is so underfunded, understaffed and just fucked over by the British government so much it's a really slow drawn out process and I don't want to wait until I'm 25 to get hormones I want to have them by the time I'm 21 which is this July so I went through a privatised service because I can afford it, so why take money from the government when I can fund it myself? And there's only one step left. I just have to donate sperm. Well, store sperm, not donate it because I'd be storing it for my own use. And then I get hormones. And that's amazing. I'm really happy and I know I don't see me and I'll explain that in a minute, but I'm, it's ama- I can get all my hormones very soon and that's going to be amazing to actually have proper boobs and my fat to start redistributing and m- start to lose muscle and everything. It'll be great. But uh, I link femininity with boobs. I've only just realised this myself because when I was a teenager I would like steal my sister's bra and then eventually I went out and bought my own bras and... I'd wear them at night and stuff them or when no one else was in the house I'd wear them and stuff them and that's how I would get locked in with my femininity that's how I would sort of feel comfortable in my own skin and express myself in a way and having breast forms is very comforting to me it helps me feel that I am in the body that I want to be, it's it, it makes me feel comfortable with who I am. But I'm not going to be able to wear breast forms or a bra while I'm on hormones because the press, having that pressure there on your chest will inhibit breast de- development. So I'm really stressing out about that for multiple reasons. The first reason is I don't feel comfortable without boobs. Boobs are... the main thing that make me feel feminine everything else about me is just inherently feminine but the fact that I have a flat chest is the biggest thing of this for me next to my voice and shoulders and skin texture and it's a massive list (laughs) um boobs are at the top of that and take a massive chunk of the pie the second thing is safety so I When I'm wearing breast forms and I'm all makeups up and freshly shaven, can pass relatively well as a cisgendered woman. And doing that allows me to not get murdered or attacked in the street. Now, people can still tell that I'm trans, as I'm sure you can, because I'm pre-hormones and everything. But I pass as a cis woman relatively well. If I can't wear boobs, I can't wear my breast forms... I'm scared that I'm going to look too manly and I'm going to not pass as a cis woman anymore and it's going to inhibit my safety. I'm not going to be able to walk around the city at any part of the city because I'd be terrified of getting attacked. You might think, but surely you'd grow boobs eventually. And yes, I will, but boob development doesn't really start until the third or fourth month for most trans women and that's early and you won't have any substantial tissue until after the first year or the first 18 months which yeah I'm just I'm really scared it's going to affect my safety and then there's the third thing which is school or university as I should call it really and when I came out when I realised that I was trans and started to live how I wanted to be, that process went along in an almost instant. So most people wear women's clothing and then they'll have de- boy mode days and girl mode days where they're not out at work, so they have to go dressed as a boy 
or they're not out at school, so they have to go dress as a boy, but they are out at all their social clubs, so they go as who they are to those. <sighs> I didn't do that. I just sort of flicked a switch. So I wore only women's clothing, uh, jeans and t-shirts, that, that is, to university. Then I started to wear high heels, and I was just that quirky kid who wore, that quirky boy who wore heels. Then I started with boobs, and I changed my name to Alice using the nickname function on Facebook Messenger. Then people started to think, okay, are you trans? I was like, yep, yeah, I am. And then I'd just been like this ever since, just solidly. I don't want to bounce back and forth, because that causes confusion, and then that leads to discrimination. And not purposely, obviously I'm not afraid that people in my class will discriminate against me, but if I'm bouncing back and forwards or I go in flat chested, I'm scared of it's going to affect how they see me and how they treat me. Like they think I'm being less serious about it because I'm not wearing boobs. And that is really scary. So, I mean, the scariest thing is the safety, really. That's the most legitimate reason. But all the other stuff is more prevalent, more prevalent even. Because I don't feel comfortable being seen by anybody without boobs, like no one. If somebody knocks on my door and I don't have breast forms on, I tell, I yell one minute and then put a bra on. I don't know how I'm going to manage it, but obviously I'm going to suck it up. I'm going to have to go for it and do it. Um, be one, have it be one of those selfish decisions where fuck everyone else and how they're going to see me. I need to do that in order to get the best development possible. So I'll do it, but it's just so scary. If you've ever had a thing where in order to progress forwards dramatically, you have to do something that makes you extremely uncomfortable. Then please tell me in the comments because it would be lovely if we could make the comments of this video some sort of support network where we all listen to each other and share our experiences and maybe can learn from one another. Not trying to fix each other's problems, but just listen and be there for each other. Because that's what I lack in my life currently. I don't have a very particularly strong support network. I've, But I grew up very self-reliant. I have always been self-reliant, so it hasn't affected me too much. It's just this one time, it seems to be a big thing. And I don't know what to do. I can normally figure this sort of stuff out. And I kind of have figured that out. I'm going to just do it. That's how everything always works. You just stop worrying about it and do it because worrying just means you suffer twice. I'm suffering now and if I... <sighs> I've rambled on enough at you from this week. So thank you for watching this whole video if you did. Please tell me about all your issues and stuff so that we can share the, the pain and try and find some comfort in each other's misery, I guess. I'm an oxymoron. Anyway, goodbye. Hope you like the new setup. Love you.